What's going on YouTubers? Welcome to another video. We have a fellow collector here that's come to buy my Magic Case. He is here to check out my collection, so let's get to it. So let's go ahead and get to it. I'm going to be quiet most of the time, so you just tell me what you think of the collection as you see it, basically. Alright. <clears throat> Alexa, turn on Man Cave. so much bigger in real life for sure so much bigger I will watch where you're walking <laughs> any idea when you're gonna get the uh, Gandalf versus Balrog statue I got it on pre-order through Big Bad Toy Store. It's estimated Q4, so potentially this month. Cool. I definitely want to get that one. Yeah, I'm not sure if it's going to fit in a lower garage shelf or if I need to do it top shelf. I could always do it where Red Sony's at and just move her next to the Predator, so. Yeah, it looks huge. Yeah, it's 30, like, 2 inches cool. tall, 30 inches deep. That would be my first real statue. I mean, I have a bunch of uh, Iron Studios, 110 scale, but... I don't really consider those statues per se, but not like these. <laughs> <laughs> the super high end. Hey, puppy dog. Wow. This one is amazing. Yeah, that's by Iron Studios, the 120th scale, actually. <laughs> I was thinking about ordering that tomorrow. Actually, I found a place that has it in stock, but I won't say where, of course. But... <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, that looks, I mean, this looks so much bigger in person than on the video. That videos never do it justice, that's no, the thing. they definitely don't. That ball rug is amazing. Wow. Wow. Those guys are amazing. Who's that, Marcus, right? Yep, Marcus and Lycan by Elite Creature Collectibles. Pretty cool, huh? One thing I can't wait to see is the Wonder Woman bust. Oh, <laughs> she is absolutely she gorgeous. She looks amazing. Even in video, she looks amazing. So, can't wait to see what she looks like in real life. Wow, his eyes. Yeah. <laughs> Scared of Pennywise? The what do you nun? think you love Pennywise? What do you think of that? Yeah, that silicone, same with the Nun, both custom by Blue Box Hyper. Blue Box Hyper? Yep, they're out of Peru. Oh, really? Yeah. Wow, they did a good job on that. Oh, yeah, they did a phenomenal job. They also did the Caesar over here next to the TV, you'll see. Oh, yeah, he's very nice. Yeah, they do exceptionally good work. Have the uh, I was looking at an older video you had last night. It is not Marcus, but Victor. Oh, I sold that you trio. Sold that yeah, I sold all the one force. They were awesome. I sold them to someone actually in Arizona, believe it or not. Really? Yeah. The same guy bought all my horror one force, my Freddy, Jason, and Leatherface. Yeah. He bought all three, and then he bought all three of them. Nice. Did he drive up and get them? No, no, I just shipped it to him. It's a freaking long drive for sure. Yeah. <laughs> But shipping that thing. Yeah, we have to take this apart. Yeah, I brought up. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's not too difficult. I just got a couple DX or DS60s in the mail Thursday, I think. Oh, really? So I'm gonna stack them. That's the that one, right? Bit. The same as that little one. Yeah. Yep. Gotcha. So I'm gonna put those two. I need to find another one of these somewhere. Um, yeah, I got mine directly through Magic Case. Took like eight months. I know. That's why I didn't it's brutal. It. Yeah, and now who knows? I think they said. Yeah, with COVID, it could take over a year. Yeah, and who knows what's going to happen in the next 
These are the ones you said your brother liked? This one? Yeah, he loves that mummy one. That's one of my favorite customs as well. I love that one. Yeah, especially for a 1 4 scale, it's so much going on on the base. Again, so much bigger than it looks like in the video. Is that from any show or a movie or anything? No, it's just a, just a concept they came up with. But for me, I relate it to the movies because I'm a movie collector. Wow. Who makes this? Uh, Prime One Studios, oh, Khaleesi okay. from Game of Thrones. 1 4 scale. Yeah, they did a real good job. Like the eyes, she actually has real eyelash like hairs if you look close enough. Oh, wow. So she's actually eventually going to go here in the middle room. Uh, I'm going to put a garage shelf here because I want a garage shelf because the Magic Case has that back part and I want to be able to see through it. Right. And I want it taller. So we're going to do a garage shelf with her and Infinity Studios Khaleesi Bust, nice. which will be a perfect centerpiece. Yeah, that'll be nice. So that is the plan. And then we'll actually probably put that trio beneath it so we could do Kong vs. Godzilla and Pacific Rim here. Hmm. Or just Kong vs. Godzilla with the bust on each end. Oof, that would look so good. So I was watching another one of your older videos last night. It was probably, I think, in November of 2019 you had mentioned. It was right around your box collection video. Oh, yeah. Uh, you said you were expecting a Doctor Strange bust? Oh, yeah, I, I got it. Oh, you did? Sold it. It was terrible. Like it? That was what, horrible. That's what I thought. You didn't it like arrived it, so. broken. <laughs> broke, and when I saw it in person, I was like, oh, my gosh. It was the worst bust I ever got. That's what I figured. Wait, the detail, the likeness, horrible. I was instantly like, oh, my gosh. I instantly sold I sold it locally, actually. Yeah. And then that guy ended up selling it himself. He's like, I hated it. Really? <laughs> What do you think, Tanner? These are all like really realistic looking. Yeah. Those are awesome Avatar statues. Those things are hard to find. They are. Some of the sideshows are starting to gain some real value because they're just getting harder and law collectors aren't selling. Yeah. That's an amazing movie, though. Oh, yeah. Plus, once Avatar 2 comes out, I mean, I'm sure we'll probably get some statues then. You know, I'm sure Prime 1 will probably get off to that license when Avatar 2 comes out. We'll see some one-fourths or one-thirds by Prime 1. Did they ever say when it's ever going to come out? I think it's the end of next year. Uh, but they keep delaying it. I know. That Darth Vader bust is way bigger than it looks on video. <laughs> wow. He's still actually pretty small, though. When you see how big Batman bust is... Oh, yes. I, I mean, the biggest bust in here is Lurtz, I'll say. And then that Predator bust. That one a sideshow? Iron Studios Iron one fourth. Studios. Yeah, for me that's the best one fourth Vader out there. I, I love it. Nice. I love that pose and the base switch outs. Yeah, so I'm actually selling that Spider Man. I can't believe how much bigger these things look in person. Yeah, like, especially if you're used to the one tenth scale. <laughs> yeah, the, the, I think you have it, the Thanos with the. Pulling the moon down. Yeah, I do. That's the one I have. Yeah, it's awesome. Yeah, little one tenth. Little Doctor Strange one. Yeah, I got all of them in other room, you'll see. Wow, that is really freaking cool. Yeah, he's amazing. I hate to sell him, but I just don't have any other one third Marvels. It's a one off, it's video game, doesn't really fit the collection. Sometimes you got to sell statues if they are one-offs and don't fit the collection. They don't fit the theme. I'm all about lines, themes, matching scales. Yeah. And plus I have another Spider-Man I like even more than that one. Really? The Far From Home, one-fourth by Iron Studios, is the best Spider-Man uh, out there. Is that the one with the cloud kind of thing? Or the uh, Well, the it's robots the or? drones. drones yeah. Yep, that one. T to me, that's the best Spider-Man statue out there. Yeah, that's pretty nice. Yeah, but... All these horror are some of my favorites, you know, like that alien bust right there. That thing is just phenomenal. That's cool. I don't ever recall seeing that one. Yep. I actually got, when I originally got that, it was like, had some issues and Prime One made me destroy it. Really? And then they shipped me a replacement. Destroy it? Yeah, I, I made on a video, video on it. Or what? Yeah, I, I, I recorded it. Really? Threw it on the ground. Damn. What a waste. I know. 
so cool. That is cool. Yeah, XM Predator. Dang. Yeah, we're waiting on Big Chap. Big Chap will go where Spider Man's at. He'll be here very soon. Is that a bus? No, the one third scale oh. by Prime One. Two giant boxes, cost two thousand dollars, sold out. Yeah, these things are way expensive. Yeah, they're super pricey. I'm just praying I don't get home tonight and start ordering statues. <laughs> seeing all this stuff. What? I mean, I'm gonna get a couple for sure. I'm probably gonna get the new Legolas from Prime One, I think. Or Infinity Studios. Yeah, the half scale. I like the Prime One better. I got Prime One on three. Prime One's where he's sliding down the stairs, yep. right? Yeah. Yeah, I got that on PO. So. Let's go into the Marvel room so you can check out. That's the room I want to see. Black yeah. Widow. Those are all one tenth, right? Yep, the entire one tenth. When you get a lot of them, though, it you know it has presents. Great altogether. And I'll be raising this shelf to the taller shelf so you can see it better as well. Now that Wonder Woman on horse is no longer here, I can raise oh, yeah. the shelf. There it is. Holy smokes! <laughs> that thing looks huge in person. Yeah, it's Batman is even freaking huger. Five feet tall. It's no joke. I see what you're saying about the brown hair now. On video, it doesn't look so as brown as it does in person. Yeah, it really depends on lighting. Yeah. Still awesome, though. I mean, that is unbelievable. That looks like a real person. Jeez. That is crazy. Yeah, that and the horse is my favorite display. I got this riser just 10 minutes ago. I don't know if I'm going to keep. I'll probably change out for something else. But Which I think one? this is a good height. Oh, that is. Yeah. It's decent, but I think I want something a little smaller, maybe circular. I like the overall design, but... So you changed it all today, huh? Oh, just that. I, yesterday I did change it around. I had to move Batman and her. I've been doing a lot of moving. And carrying that horse was not easy. Because I didn't take it apart. I just took off the top sword and that's it. And I carried the whole thing. That bust is worth every penny. Oh, yeah. It is amazing. I can't believe how real it looks in person. Wow. That... Queen really did a good job in her. That looks spooky. It's so real almost. <laughs> wow. <That> looks, <laughs> she looks real for sure. Wow. That's crazy. Batman is awesome. Yeah, he's huge. Hey, Beast. Yeah, I have glass eyes. That's what they do on these silicones. They go all out. The only problem with silicone is it won't last forever. It does have a timeline. Really? Okay. Yeah. How long? It depends, but, you know, this Wonder Woman could last 20 to 30 years, possibly longer. It's still a newer technology, so we we really don't know. Right. But they estimate 20 to 30, but there's people who have been collecting some older silicone busts that are still in good shape. Right. You can also get it repaired. Jesus, even his 5 o'clock shadow looks real. Yeah, that's real oh. hair implants. That is crazy. Wow, that yeah. is amazing. Yeah, I bought him local three massive boxes. Really? Unreal how many, how big the boxes are too. From a private collector? Or yeah, a just a local store? collector I know. He was sort of selling his statues. He sold me the alien bus. He sold this to me. And I couldn't pass up the opportunity. It only just barely started shipping. My buddy got it. He paid 700 for shipping. Damn. Yeah, 700 If that mirror bus looks as good or better than what it's... The prototype is it'll be only as good not better but if it gets as it's good, good. good then i could display it right next to you know yeah. aquaman over there that's kind of the plan and this is just to show you because that superman will not go there it will go right here and we'll do black suit over there and we get the superman bust right here and the posters will all arrive next week so it's gonna look just How gorgeous is the superman bust? it could ship any day. any day any day people have already started receiving it oh nice you know, like, I have someone who claims they got it from Sideshow, so I they could email me saying it's in stock next week. Nice. If so, I owe them $3,000. <laughs> <laughs> a big bill to pay. Yeah, there's the Hulkbuster. Who makes that? That's by Imaginarium Arts. Uh, they're not really in business anymore. Sure. But that was the best piece they ever made. It's pretty good oh. Yeah, it's a huge piece, very heavy. You know, originally I had it up here, but it had to go down low to make way for this display. But at the end of the day, I think it was worth it. So if you ever get enough bus to fill up the top 
shelf where you put it all bus on the top shelf? You know, I actually prefer doing like a bus one third, bus yeah. one third. I like separating it. I don't really like having just bus, 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 bust. Right. I, I like separating it, showing having a full character. I just think it looks better. You know, like having that Batman next to him to me looks better than another bust. Those two are unbelievable for realistic. Right in. This thing is freaking huge. Yeah, that's my favorite statue in the collection. The just overall presence and look, just unbeatable to me. Nice. That horse, the real hair. I love the pose and sculpt her armor. They did. did you say that sword was real steel? It's real yeah, metal? it's real metal. I thought you'd say that. Super high quality. They took no shortcuts on her. <laughs> That's the thing with this collection, you know, you got like 400 statues, so you really can. You said your Black Panther you thought was your worst bust? Worst of all the Marvel. Oh, okay. Not that it's bad, it's amazing. But if I had to rank them, I would put that last. I think the other ones are better. You know, Hulk is my favorite of all the Marvel. Or I'm sorry, not Hulk. Hulk for humans, but Thanos. I would I would put it Thanos, then Hulk, and then Loki, and then probably Iron Man, Captain Marvel, Spider-Man, Black Panther. Until Wonder Woman showed up, he was my favorite of yours from the bus. So, so do you like Wonder Woman more than him? Uh, as far as a character, no, but as far as the actual bust itself, yes. I do love that Thanos bust. Yeah, it's amazing. The Spider-Man... Alexa, turn on Marvel statues. There's some light up for you. Nice. Did Queen make this one? Uh, yes. The Mark 50 Battle Damaged. So that lights up both the Iron Man's, Captain Marvel, both Gauntlets, and both Spider Man's. Oh, I didn't see her. Yep, so. Nice. That is nice. Yeah, the light's really cool. In fact, they did all of her hair. That is awesome. The best light up though is Spider-Man because it's like rotating like it's a portal. So it's just like in the movie. Which one? The Spider-Man right there. Oh, really? That's the one I like more than the one-third scale. <clears throat> oh, cool. That is cool. Oh, man. Star-Lord's helmet. Alexa, turn off Marvel statues. Six scale? Yep, one six uh, by Iron Studios, except for Loki and the Chitari Commander, are both hot toys. And then I added a bunch of props, printed out the backdrops, the 3D logo. So, made my own Avengers little diorama. So that movie is super special to me. It's what m got me into Marvel. My love of Marvel is from Avengers 1. It's totally worth it to just see all this stuff. I've had this display for seven years. <laughs> It hasn't changed. That's cool. Where did you, did you have somebody make that Avengers sign? Yeah, someone on Facebook. Nice. It's like 20 bucks. Cool. That's awesome. Totally worth the drive just to see this in person. <laughs> How long was the drive? Like nine hours. Nine hours. <clears throat> yep. Yeah, I've made that drive. I made that for Wolf Predator. I drove to Colorado. Oh, yeah? Yep, to go get him because the guy wouldn't ship. He's like, you have to bring cash, meet me in person, 2500 bucks. We're at Denver somewhere? Uh, yeah, Denver. I met him at the bank and gave him 2500 cash. He gave me the box. <laughs> he wouldn't even let me open it until I gave him the cash. Are you serious? <laughs> it was sealed, brand new. Because oh. he's like, if you open it, then it devalues because it's no longer oh. considered new. That's true. The moment I gave him the cash, I opened that, checked to make sure the statues are. It's not a, Don't you know. <laughs> like, can you just wait? Let me just open this, verify there's an actual statue there. Like, that was a lot of money and a lot of driving. Right. So which Thanos do you like best? We got the two Iron Studios and then Queen Above. Um, without being biased, because I wanted to order that one myself. Oh, 
Yeah, his face is just stellar. See, when I'm in this room, I'm usually sitting on this chair so you don't have to get on the ground. Right. That's that's why the the reason this chair is here. I don't know. I think the head sculpt on this one's better than the that one for sure. But I don't know. I don't think I could pick. They're all so good. Yeah. If I if I was taking one home and only could choose one, I would probably pick. Dang. Probably that one. <laughs> Endgame Iron Studios. Beast. But it would be a hard choice. I really like them all. That, that is the thing. That's the reason I haven't sold any. Because, uh, that's a, you know, just a museum pose, basically. So, that one is um, close to being a museum pose. That More or less. Cool. On throne, sort of. Yeah, but the head sculpt on this one is so much better. Yeah, the teeth are some, the best teeth I've seen on a statue. Yeah. Pretty much. You know, outside like a silicone with, you know, like my Pennywise teeth are probably the best teeth. Cause they're... Hulk's pretty good. Oh yeah, Hulk's really freaking good. I think Pennywise is the best just because his teeth are the, they're a special type of teeth. Hulk, Hulk is super good though. Yeah, that's amazing hair. Yeah, Hulk is very impressive. His face is what makes him so good. Who makes that? Queen. Queen? Yeah, all the Marvel Buster are Queen except yeah. for the Venom and Deadpool that sideshow. They haven't been around very long, have they? Uh, like three years now. Holy smokes. That is unbelievable. Eyes look so real. Yeah, his teeth look good. I actually glossed them up because they were lacking a little gloss. Oh, really? And originally when I got him, his skin tone was super dark, so I had to put some baby powder on him to make it a little bit lighter. Really? But now the skin tone matches the one for, so I'm very happy with how it looks because they match perfectly. Yeah. But when you place an X Iron Studios, that's a lighter purple, so I didn't like it as much. Right. But now that I have Queen, I'm happy with the skin tone. That thing is huge. For me personally, that's my favorite Queen bust. I still like it more than Wonder Woman. Really? I do. I think that base is an absolute masterpiece, and I love the armor and the just girthy. Does it light up right? It does. I don't have it plugged in. Those things? Are yeah, it does light up. It's just they're very weak. And they don't really add much to it, so I don't even plug it in. If they were super bright and they actually did something, then sure, I'd turn it on. That's an amazing bust. Yeah, I, I love it. You got Spider-Man. This guy's one of my top favorites. He's my favorite Marvel character. The new movie is, for me, I think going to be the best. Like, tied with Infinity Wars, the best Marvel movie. Yeah, I know. If they introduce Tobey Maguire, Andrew Garfield versus Sinister Seven, they have Venom. Yeah. Oh my you goodness. Think Venom will be in it? Oh, he will. That's going to be great. That's a great statue. Yeah, Gentle Giant. They made that one. We should uh, move along for yeah. the sake of the video. Yep. We got this bad boy. That was awesome. That Caesar's amazing. Oh yeah, the hallway's a little limited because of... <laughs> dinosaurs, yeah, but your, uh, yeah, I gotta watch yeah, that yeah. tail. Normally, I don't have visitors here too often, so. But here is the Transformer Mortal Kombat room mini gym. Holy smoke! Yeah, Transformers are ones that you really gotta see in person. They are just so detailed. Wow, that thing is huge. Yeah, Shockwave. Those are my first Prime One Studio statues. Wait till you see the next room, Tanner. You'll be loving that. It's, uh, what is it? Dragon Ball? You're into all that. DBZ, stuff. video games. Yeah. And this is sort of like transitioning to video games because I'm a huge Mortal Kombat fan. <laughs> She's even more fearsome in this one. Like 
Awesome. Oh, there should be in, I think. Yep, one third scale. The highlight in this room really is Shockwave, though. Shockwave, Optimus, Megatron. These pieces are truly special. They're Just, all uh, uh, die cast? Or parts? parts they're metal? parts PVC, polystone, some metal. I believe it's mostly just polystone and PVC. Super heavy, they look like. Oh, that shockwave is impossible to move. You have to take him apart, and he's about 100 pieces. Really? 100? Wow. His base alone probably weighs 70 pounds. Yeah, it looks like it. I have him on top of four shelves, actually. <laughs> <laughs> just to ensure he doesn't break them. Huh? Yeah, he is probably the heaviest piece of my collection. I mean, I could pick up Wonder Woman on horse. I could not pick up him if, for the life of me. That'd require probably three to four people. Wow, that's amazing. Which one's better, though? That or Wonder Woman on horse? I would have to say that, but I'm not, I'm not even a fan of them. But it still looks like it's really intricate and so much going on yeah see i saw both at tokyo comic-con those are the two highlights for me shockwave and wonder woman on horse all the stuff attached to him and 100 pieces or more that's just amazing yeah that somebody would you know engineer that yeah it's wild he's also four boxes wow yeah he's the most boxes in the whole collection absolutely crazy right Check out the Dragon Ball Z room. We do have a few more Jurassic pieces, life-size raptor. That's cool. You have a mini Greek theme right here. Huh. These have been one of my favorites. Oh, the Warcraft. Yes. They are I incredible. I want a Duratan so bad, but he's hard to find. Oh yeah, they, they are all very rare and hard to get. Very expensive. They'll cost you two thousand plus dollars now. Who what? made the uh, damn toys? What's his name? Golden. Golden. Yeah. Yep, damn toys made them all except for the Duratan. That's by Fizzin. Do they normally just make statues, damn toys? No, they make like one six figures. Really? They rarely actually make statues. They just randomly came out with these incredible statues. I was looking on eBay for uh, World of Warcraft and I noticed that he was one of the few that were made by, I think it was damn toys. Yeah, it's damn toys. And then the other one, one or two of them were made by some other company. Uh, I don't remember what they were, but. So are you a fan of Dragon Ball Z? You ever seen it growing up or? No. I grew up during uh, the 80s, so yeah, by the time all the cool stuff for kids came out, I was well past it. <laughs> I was a Star Wars nerd. I, uh, you're I, that generation. Yep, I saw Star Wars in the theater in Durango, Colorado in 1977 when I was seven years old. There you go. Yeah, see, I wasn't born yet. I was born late 80s, uh -huh. so grew up in the 90s and DBZ. Was what I grew up with. Yeah, so if I would have grown up in your era, I'd probably, I'm sure I would have. He has been into all the anime and what's the other one that you like a lot? Naruto? Naruto. I love Naruto. So good. Well, I'm always buying him Naruto stuff. Yeah, Naruto to me is as good as Dragon Ball Z. It's so good. That war, the final battle, oh my gosh. I would collect it, but there's just so many statues and I just don't have space. So I just decided one anime only. Yeah. If I was an anime only collector, I'd have everything. I'd have Demon Slayer, Attack on Titan, Berserk. Yeah. Like uh the stuff I collect generally, the one six scale stuff is everybody's always talking about staying in their lane or picking one category because they can't You you do have to limit yourself. Categories. You got like ten or fifteen categories. Yeah, I got or Dragon Ball Z, video games, movies. Yeah, it's freaking amazing to watch all this stuff. Yeah, I never even thought about owning statues. And one day I stumbled across one of your videos and I was like, holy crap, look at that. <laughs> and then next thing I know, I'm starting to pre-order statues. There you go. <laughs> That's how it all begins. Yep. Curiosity. 
I was curious about a Goro statue when I was working at a call center, making 14 bucks an hour at the time. And I was just like, I would love a Goro statue because I thought of the movie. Yeah. And I Googled it, saw PCS one fourth Goro, the one in the other room, and I was like, oh my gosh. But it was $500, and that was a lot of money back then yeah. for me. Yeah. And I was like, oh my gosh, I couldn't fathom spending that much money on a statue. You know, because, like, you remember when I was younger, I'd go to, like, the Chinese stores. You see statues for, like, 180 bucks. Like, wow, that's so that's pricey. Crazy. And now here I am spending $4,000 <laughs> on Wonder Woman bus. Right. Oh, my gosh. Yeah, I thought the same thing when I collected one twelfth scale Star Wars and Marvel. Oh, my God, I can't pay 100 bucks for that. And now I'm spending, God only knows how much money I'm <laughs> On a hot toy or a statue. Yeah, hot toys, you're like two to five hundred bucks yeah. each. And it's like, oh, I wish I was only spending fifty to a hundred bucks for a scout, you know, one twelve piece on eBay, which is absolutely nothing to me now. <laughs> but, you know, I guess the longer you work, the better stuff you can afford. <laughs> oh yeah. That's really cool. So any last thoughts for the YouTubers, thoughts on the collection and whatnot? The collection is amazing, and it's. I'm so glad I came to see it in person because uh, all this stuff looks ten times more amazing in person than it does on the videos. And it still looks great on the videos, but it looks even that much better in person. So. There we go. Well, thank you all for watching. Like, comment, subscribe. Have a great day.